Hello, my dear student. Today we are going to discuss another topic that is usual area of Bengali, which is area, which is area Bengali. This is another matter that I said, and their systematic position is Highland. Nematoda, then class Chetanensia, Chetanensia order Spy Rurida Family. On go, Sayidi, Senas, Usir area, and species is the Bankopti. So, this is the, about the systematic position of this. Another nematode parasite, which is known as the Ustaria bengalti. Like other helmin parasite, this nematode is usually transmitted by a insect vector. This is not transmitted by other animal, but it is usually transmitted to the mosquito bite or other insect is the other insect is the black flies. For this nematode, the intermediate hosts are the mosquito, the deusculus species, and black flies. And these nematodes are usually present in the dim limb glands of human beings. So this is all about their systematic position. Then the next is the morphology or structure of this parasite. Usually. For this parasite also, the female worm always large than the male worm. And for this, we can discuss about their tree structure, male and the female, and the miniature adult, which is known as the microfilaria, which is given from the fertilized female worm. So, the female worm is three times larger than that of the male worms. This is the female worm which are present in the lungs. This is the female worms. And they are present in the limb glands. And this is the mouth, this is the sphere, and here is the nerve ring, and here is the, this is the nerve ring, and here is the internal structure of resin. Can be up to this, and there is the different structure, and here anal musculature are usually present. This is the anus, this is the anal musculature. And then musculature and these are the uterus. This is the uterus of this female one. This is the uterus. This is the vulva. And here is, the, here is the ovary. This is the 
This is the nerve ring. nerve ring and here is the gonopore. Gonopore and this is the pharynx. This is the pharynx. This is the mouth. And the length of this female worm is 62. 100 millimeter millimeter length and cabinet of 300 micrometer in 300 micrometer in thickness in 300 micrometer in thickness this is all about the female worm this is the female worm of Ucceleria Bencotti this is the female worm then what about the male worm the main difference between the male and the female worm is depending upon the size of their body as well as the shape of the tail. In case of the male worm, the shape of the tail is curved. curved. Then the size also. The male worm is shorter. The female worm is three times larger than the male worm. This is the male worm. This is the male worm. Here is the elongated, elongated body with cocktail, and here is the copulatory organ, and these are the musculature structure. This is the copulatory spicule. Copulatory spicule and these are the inner musculature, inner musculature, and these are the pupilla, pupilla. This is the mouth. It is there. This is the face. This is the nothing, this is the also fetus, and here is the internal structure of resin, just like this. And here, here is the testes. These are the testes, and the size is 40 millimeter in length, having a thickness of 100 micrometer. 100 micrometer in thickness. Together, the male worm of Vucellaria bankrupty. Then, this is all about the male and the female worm. Then, the rest is the important structure which is known as the microfilaria, which is a miniature adult worm. Then, the microfilaria is just like this. This is the microfilarial worm. And here is the tail structure. Internal structure of present. This is the development of the 
Не конечно все. Чуть-чуть отрезаем. Чуть-чуть отрезаем. Чуть-чуть отрезаем. Чуть-чуть отрезаем. Чуть-чуть And this is the seed, this is the mark, and these are the somatic cells, these are the nabbing, nabbing, and these cells are the somatic cells. These are the somatic cells and the size of this microfilaria is 2 IT micrometer in length and figure the microfilaria of Uzzeria Bencotti. This is the microfilaria of Uzzeria Bencotti. So these are all about your morphological structure. That is, the female worm is always larger than the male worm. How much? Three times larger than that of the female worm. And this is the microfilaria, which is the infective stage larva, which is usually present inside the body of the mosquito or black flies. This is all about the morphology of Ocellaria bankrupti. Then the next is the life cycle. Life cycle of Ocellaria bankrupti. Usually, this parasite is transmitted from one host to another host through insect vector. The vector is usually those organisms which carry the pathogen that can cause diseases. These are the definition of the vector. Vector are those organisms which carry the pathogen from one person then transmitted to other person. These are the vector. So for this life cycle, Mosquito or black flies is the vector for transmission of this Wusteraria bankrupti microfilaria. So, the microfilaria is usually released from the fertilized female worm. Then, the first is the mosquito. Mosquito takes a blood meal. Takes a blood meal from an infected person. From infected person with part is this larva of Bucceraria bankrupti. And Mosquito take a blood meal from an infected person, then it transmit this larva into the lymphatic gland. These are the human species and the female and male worms are usually present in the Lymphatics. This is the female one. These are the male one. Adults are in lymphatics. Then, after fertilization, this female one produce large number of the microfilaria. First stage microfilaria and they migrate into the lymph and the blood chambers. The other produce it at microfilaria. Other female produce 
produced microfilaria microfilaria that migrate into leaf they migrate into lymph and blood chambers the fertilized female worm give out large number of the first stage microfilaria that is migrated in different part of the leaf as well as in the blood chambers of the circulation then these microfilaria are usually developed then when mosquito take a meal from one infected person mosquito take a, take a blood meal mosquito take a blood meal from infected person infected person this then this microfilaria enter inside the body of the mosquito microfilaria microfilaria set sits penetrate mosquito mica sits penetrate mosquito mica Mosquito midgut and migrate to thoracic muscle and migrate to thoracic muscle. Then, after this, the first cell larva one is usually developed inside the body of the mosquito, and after this. This larva mold twice, mold twice, and the from third stage larva L3 develop. L3 develop, which is the infected stage microfilaria, third stage microfilaria develop, and the migrate to the head and mosquito proboscis. Migrate and the develop, migrate to the Migrate to the head and proboscis of mosquito of the day. This mosquito again bite another person. Got this about the life cycle of this area bankruptcy and the duration is all about. Main duration is one to three years. In order to develop their adult stages after entering inside the body, inside the body of the human being, the whole cycle takes place about one to three years. But unfortunately, this microfilaria, this infective stage microfilaria are present in different limb nodes, limb glands, etc. And there they can be live up to 10 years. So I repeat again, the adult worm are usually present in the lymphatics of human being, in human. They are present in the lymphatics of human being. After fertilization, the female worm release microfilarial larva in the bloodstream as well as in the lymph. And from this infected person, a mosquito take a blood meal and this filaria enter inside the body of the mosquito. Inside the body, this microfilaria develop into first stage larva then third stage larva during this first up to third stage larva the larva more twice and the, this third stage microfilaria larva are the infective stage larva who is migrated towards the head and the proboscis of the mosquito when this mosquito which is carrying such type of the infected stage microfilaria larva bite another person then 
These macrophyllaria are entered inside the body of the human and they usually develop in the limb gland, in the lymphatics, in the different parts of the limb glands inside the body. Here it develops into adult male and the female worms. And the duration is one to three years in order to complete the adult stages from the microfilarial worm. These are all about the life cycle of Wusseraria bankrupti. Then the next is the pathogenicity. That means the disease caused by this nematode parasite. This disease is very much fatal and they are usually very serious disease. The disease caused by this nematode parasite is known as the Lymphatic filariasis, pathogenicity, pathogenicity. The disease caused by Wurzelaria bankrupti is known as the lymphatic filariasis. Lymphatic filariasis and the main symptom for this lymphatic filariasis is the elephantiasis. Main symptom is elephantiasis. That is, the limb glands are enlarged just like the hand of that elephant. From there, it is known as the elephantiasis. And the, what is elephantiasis? It is the edema with thickening of the skin and the underlying tissue with thickening of the skin and underlying tissue this is the symptom of this disease lymphatic filariasis then The mostly affect the leg and this filariasis is mostly affect, affect leg but can also occur can also occur in arms in arms breast and Genitalia. Genitalia. And this causes another type of the symptoms are also present for this filariasis, which is known as the tropical pulmonary osinophilia. Filariasis can also occur as tropical pulmonary osinophilia. Tropical pulmonary osinophilia and the symptom of this tropical pulmonary osinophilia is that there will be cough, soreness of bread, soreness of bread, soreness of bread, and wheezing. These are the symptoms of this. Pulmonary osinophilia, which is mainly occur due to the symptom of this osinophilia. So, these are all about the disease caused by this another nematode parasite, Wurzelaria bankrupti. Then, what about their treatment? Treatment. The drugs which is given for this elephantiasis or lymphatic filariasis is the albendazole with ivermectin. 
this is very useful urban dajor urban dajor which is treated with ivermectin this is the most popular and effective drug for this filariasis the second is that in 2003 in 2003 the common antibiotic the common and effective antibiotic for this disease for this disease is deoxycycline deoxycycline is the another antibiotic which is given by the doctor in 2003 then the common side effect for these drugs are the common side effect for these drugs are dizziness dizziness nausea nausea fever headache headache or pain in muscular and joint pain in muscular and joints and these are all about the treatment of this elephantiasis or lymphatic filariasis then the next is the prevent prevention and control preventive Preventive measure. This is the most important part. Preventive measure number one. Prevention focuses on protecting against mosquito bite. Prevention focuses on preventing mosquito bite in endemic region endemic region then number two insect repellent and the mosquito net are useful insect repellent and mosquito net are Useful then number three to protect against mosquito bite to protect against mosquito bite then number three the public education effort might also be made within the endemic area public Education will public education effort must also be made must also be made within the endemic area within the endemic area of the world of the area of the world to successfully lower to successfully lower the prevalence of prevalence of which area bankruptcy so, these are the preventive measures.
for this important matter parasite. So, in this today class, we discuss about the structure of Bocerella bankrupti, which is usually causes most important and the dreadful disease, which is known as the lymphatic filariasis, and their symptom is elephantiasis. And there is also <coughs> modification of men in the microfilaria larva and their pathogenicity, that means disease caused by this nematode parasite, their treatment is visa, visa all about today's class. That's all.